Hey all desserts and welcome back. Welcome back to our journey through Didi as Stanislav Poniatowski. Oh, we finally peace out with the Russians. Uh, and we managed to cut the Russian Empire more or less in half. This is now Moscow, Kazan, Smolensk, and of course St. Petersburg by absolute force are now ours. I've rearranged a couple of builds. I've done this all off screen so I wouldn't bore you with it too much. Uh, Smolensk is going to starve out. I can't unfortunately do anything about that right now, but... Yeah, teach his own. Uh, we can pretty much set up on Yaroslav. We do need to get Yaroslav actually uh, in control because this is sugar, which we like, which we like to use. Uh, their caviar, I'm not sure where they're getting it. it. Could be over here, and I won't be able to get at it. Honestly, what I need to do is get Yaroslav, so I have no like weird backdoor problems. And then uh, I probably need to get Astrakhan and uh, Tula, so I can start aiming toward the French. Uh, that's kind of the plan right now. So we'll kind of aim in that general direction, see how it comes out. So, uh, we are building a uh, aerodrome here in order to station our aircraft further up. Kazan is building a power plant because any more hammers here would be good. And here we're just building a builder because we don't have a lot of hammers for anything else here, practically speaking. We're setting up an entertainment district here as well to get a little more amenities. And we're prioritizing rebuilding the uh, entertainment stuff, primarily because our amenities are a little crap after that war. We'll need to get them back. But the war weariness will fade away. This will all end up being level and we'll kind of move on with our lives. So all in all, a worthy, a worthy war, a worthy victory. I'm very pleased with that one. We're going to keep scooting around Yaroslav though. Make sure that we're all honky-dory with what's going on and that we're ready to go again at a moment's notice against the Russians. Uh, because we will gonna, as soon as the peace deal ends, we're pretty much going to go after them again. And there's no rest for the wicked, especially not for Peter who's been on our ass our entire existence effectively. So, ugh, colossal pain. But anyways, this feller is going to keep moving east, last time I checked, to help us rebuild all this stuff that we pillaged. Which is not going to take us that long. I mean, honestly, this stuff. Districts, yeah, but everything else, not so much. We'll get the farmers back up, we'll get the food rolling again, and it'll all be good. That's what I'm telling myself, at least. I like to believe. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Spain has adopted cultural policy. Cultural exchange, and you built a temple in Astrakhan. Well, grats. Interesting. You built a temple in Astrakhan. Why would you do that? 181 tourism now though, which is pretty cool. So if we take a look at the victory condition screen, if it wouldn't hang like crazy. It is really hanging like crazy. Come on, people. What's going on? Wikey wikey, there we go. Oh, it just hung like crazy. I guess we got a policy we didn't realize. So 410 is culture. That's just insane how much you can put out. But 258, we're almost even with them. We're more than the French now. So really the two dangers here I see in victory, and I took a step back while I was doing this off screen to figure out what exactly the issue was. So there's two dangers here. One, that Greece and France somehow uh, up and win culture over us. We need to basically destroy them, more or less, to get that done. Or just take away all the tourism, which we'll have to see where their uh, amphitheaters are and things of that nature and take over those cities in particular. Uh, and the other thing that could happen to us negatively is that the Romans win a science victory by sending them to the moon, because they are the most advanced AI on tech right now. So we need to take stock of all their rocketry sites. And they're building a crap ton of these things, as you can tell. They're building another spaceport there. They're building a spaceport there. They're building a spaceport there. But these are all under construction. Uh, so, you know, it's just kind of funny how many spaceports are actually building. The AI kind of went nuts on it. So there's one in Setia here already functioning. There's one in Ostia already functioning. That's kind of wild, actually. Another one in Durakotorum. They're putting up seven spa Another one in Aretium. They're putting, like, seven spaceports. Another one in QMA. Wow! I thought I'd be able to take down, like, a couple cities of the Romans and deal with this, but... Son of a gun! That's a lot of space wars. And Rome is just barely building one right now. Interesting. And this is Ravenna. Maybe this is the Roman one? It must be the Roman one. Yeah, so that's not an urgent thing like right now, but uh, in the future that's going to be necessary to deal with. So why don't you move up. You roll up here and take a promotion. We can go shells. Uh, and y'all are going to move out this way. Now the thing is, like, I can use my ships to knock down Yaroslav. And I can use my ships to knock down... Tula, but I'm going to need a little bit of help with Astrakhan, so I'm going to start moving aim my aircraft up there and my artillery mostly up there. I don't need a lot of help here with Yaroslav because my ships will do better than uh, my artillery will, in all honesty. So let's go re to rebase somewhere to St. Petersburg and we'll kind of jump around to Moscow and things like that. You're going to have to wait a tick though, buddy. The other uh, biplane, unfortunately. And my forces will keep moving east to deal with the Russians. The peace deal is only up for about 10 turns, so it's not going to last that long. Military Academy for production? Yeah, we could do that. And this is an extra housing as well, which is always nice. Let's go ahead and do that. And how's our citizenry doing? Our citizenry is working a what? Tyler, you're working a one... How? Wait. 
I know I didn't lock that one. I know I did stuff off screen, but I know I sure as hell did not lock the one food tile. Uh, 12 production. We'll need to boost that. Actually, just work that tile. Grow a little bit. Your production is already pretty solid, so just grow a little bit, okay? Could I some more? Who the fuck? I did not lock that. Not crazy. I am, let me rephrase. I am crazy, but not that crazy. Let's see. Submarine, are you the raider? You're the loot, yeah. <coughs> Sneeze off screen for no apparent reason. Wow, it seems to be a tradition at the beginning of these episodes, but at least I'm getting better at avoiding them. Oh, I do apologize for that. There's pollen in the air now, and I think my mind is becoming affected by it. Hello, Tula. Hello. The good thing is Yaroslav love is coastal, so we can easily take it. This Cossack. Oh, you silly Cossacks. All right, what else we got? Uh, keep going this way. Hello, Yaroslav. We're just gonna avoid the encampment entirely, effectively. That's my plan, at least. What's what we got? Yep. You can't roll. You can roll and roll and roll and right there. Good. Uh, tank needs to heal up. We'll get another tank moving. That's the former... Former Husaria tank, which is pretty cool. The chemistry's coming up in two, which we'll need, obviously, for the... Uh, science building upgrade that we can finally leapfrog Rome. As you can tell, our science is really good even without research labs. He's at 230 and we're at, um, uh, what is it, 199. So we're very, very close to being top tier on science. Once we have those buildings up, we will be. One thing I want to check also is our district numbers. Because once we get rid of Noble Republic, we won't be able to build free districts anymore. So we want to zone one out now, it would be good. I get, I mean, neighborhoods are always free. I don't think I need anything else here, practically speaking, though. So I'm kind of happy with Warsaw the way it is. I could make an encampment, I suppose. And just kind of control against the Romans a bit more. I suppose I could. Make sure nothing passes from Revenge. This is going to be a nasty, nasty knocking and dragging out kind of fight if we get into it with the Romans. Maybe I could put an encampment on the passes here. Uh, let's see. What would make sense? This is a really narrow one. I'd probably drive through here maybe, but look at how tough it's going to be to handle these guys. I could probably set artillery around here and handle Ravenna, kind of how I did with the Russians. That's probably the only reason Rome hasn't invaded us completely, is that we have these really narrow passes to hold. This is an amazing encampment for them, by the way. Once we break through, though, we can probably just go to town. Kind of like back in the day, once the barbarians break through, all of Rome is easy for the pickings. Their military isn't that huge, though, compared to their land mass. Their military is out there fighting folks. Compared to us, uh, 1513, Rome is all the way down here. So this is like a third of our strength. So if we do need to go after them, we will, and uh, that should be relatively simple to do. So I am thinking I'm going to drop an encampment down here. Not because I particularly need to, but because I have an extra district, and I'm not going to probably put this down at all, because we have one already within zone. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop an encampment. It's extra production no matter what. So this question is either down here, which I don't really need to, because like, Nisa controls it. So I think I'm going to do it right there. And the only question is, am I working that tile? Or is anyone working that tile? I'm not working that tile. And Portsk is also not working that tile. I cannot work that tile. So I'm actually okay changing that farm out for an encampment. Uh, we get a little extra protection out of that. We get a little protection on this corner. Grand, but you're going to finish that spy you've been working on, I think. Because that was key to what I want to keep doing. Uh, slowing stuff down. Slowing Rome down in particular. All right, so our menus are going to start getting better now. Go, no, 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 no. I'm not down you. Don't worry, I'm not down you yet. Uh, let's see. He doesn't have a new government yet, though. Because we've shifted these around a bit. Unrest in St. Petersburg. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's put minus eight there, you know, just for fun. It used to be somewhere else. Uh, but, yeah, you don't have an advanced government, do you? You have still a noble republic, which is fascinating. What's Darwinist? Likes he's in war and constant struggle. Oh, that's why he likes me so much. We chill. Are you the same way? You're paranoid. He's not going to like me much. And then, how about you? Are you Darwinist as well? You're a money grubber. So you like me because I'm fucking loaded. Had research with you. Maybe we should stop giving you research. Probably should stop giving him research, honestly. And do we have... Let's do this feller. Friendship? Just make an ask. I gotta, I gotta ask, because, you know, sometimes... That's worth... Uh, not, not that, damn it. Can we make any... Sell you anything? He's not much use to me right now, honestly. And that's a little sad. Okay, but I have... I have seven oranges, so I guess... Valencia and Sevilla are a little sad. I mean, that's why he doesn't like me. I'm making oranges better than he does. Who knows? Anyway, let's keep going. My submarines. Yes, John Curtin. I'm not giving you oil, you crazy fuck. No. I can give you this, though. That makes me more equitable. Hey, hey, hey. You were just feeding me money. You were just feeding me money, bro. Uh-uh. So how, what did you want for this? Six and three. I'm not that hard up for amenities. I am hard up for amenities, but not that hard up for amenities. And mostly because of war weariness. Once we have a CB to go to war with, then there'll be a lot less war weariness to come from. I did the, yeah, Christ, I did the encampment here, but I should really check around for the districts. 
I'm being being a little sloppy, you know. Being a little sloppy, you know. Garrison promotion, interesting. Okay, why would you earn a garrison promotion? You're offensively warring, aren't you? Yeah, I think the... Well... I don't know if they're going to get wiped out. The, the, the Arabs have seen better days, that's for sure. Might have to go to Rome. That's a shame. We were buddies, but our relationship will degrade inevitably, and we'll just kind of go around burning all the cities to the ground, I guess. The ones that are down here are no threat, but the ones with rocketry sites, which apparently is every single one now. Oh, look at that. All, that, all those hammers. Jesus. Woman's suffrage will yeah, suffering, suffering. Okay, let's just make sure... Yes, I want to close the damn menu. I want to make sure I don't hit drop any more districts than I already have dropped. I can drop one, like, I think. Hitting seven pop would have opened up a new one. Yes, it has. Would an aerodrome here make sense? Uh, not really, I don't think. An airstrip will probably do just fine. But what would make sense is a theater square. Uh-huh. I wouldn't mind that at all. Get me a plus one adjacency, drop that one there. What were you building, anyway? You were building something in your military district, weren't you? For low production, yes you were. Not doing this right now. Okay, Lublin, do we need another district here? Have we dropped everything? I'm pretty certain we dropped everything here. That we need to drop. Uh, yep, we have. Good. Let's look at Płock. Płock may have an extra one, but I really have no place for it right now. Yeah, Theater Square and Courage Hub already dropped. We don't need an aerodrome, because we have one in Warsaw already. Yeah, nothing is necessary. I'll get a harbor eventually, maybe, if I feel like it, but, eh. Radom, the place with no housing, apparently no food. Good lord, what happened to you? Uh, you can't drop anything new anyway, but hold on, wait a second. Why are we not growing at all? Because we're focusing on production a lot, that makes sense, but that's excessive even for me. Yeah, let's do it like that, then we can go back to doing something else. Do the one with one gold, yeah? Good enough. Okay, that was kind of crazy. And Poznan, who is now currently the housing limit, which we, we thought we remedied, but apparently not well enough. That's a good tile to work. Let's see, do we need to rearrange some stuff? Um, I think we're working the optimal tiles for now. now. That'll do just fine. Do we need to drop another district for you is the question. And that may or may not be true. I think we just dropped one here, and we're at max already. Good. St. Petersburg. I mean, the new cities, I don't think are going to be producing much of anything, honestly, so I'm not too keen on dropping any new districts here. And we can't do it anyway, which is fine. So Maliens grew down to one more pop, so let's fix this. Uh, it's gonna, this is going to make you go into loss as well. Oh, it's such a crappy city. I right, will fix it. We'll get it better. We'll get it better. But for now, the builder's going to need to do that for us. Kazan, uh, we need a new district here. I doubt it. I mean, we could drop something, I guess. We could drop... I mean, a theater square wouldn't be bad, because we need more culture regardless. I think our science situation is just fine. We can go here, but that's actually, like, a yield tile, so... And the one culture is not going to make or break anything. Let's put it right there. It's fine. Drop another one. Is that going to be the last one you're dropping? It's the last one you're dropping. Perfect. Like, I want to take advantage of this while I still have that policy in place, because otherwise, you know, we have to grow, and those cities are not growing worth a damn. Okay, you won't have to do a theater square here as well. Um, boom, da, da, dum. We'll get the plus one here, I guess. Cause that's, a, that's an okay tile, but we can do better, so do that. Well, you will build an aerodrome first, friend. Because uh, we will need to. Yeah, do that. Okay, sexy. Finally, we're good on districts. Now we can switch governments to sub, to uh, liberal democracy. Thank you. Plus 100 on all tourism. That's exactly what I want to see because I could use some tourism. Computers boosted. Thank you. Liberal democracy. I'm kind of surprised we don't have any more economic policies from this. I thought we kind of did. All right. Arts patronage. Professional army we don't need right now. Uh, rationalism makes sense. So let's see what else we can do. We can get secularism uh, in order to deny people great people, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm not too keen on that. We can get 50% tourism on our capital, which is nice, but too crazy. I want to see if I can start pushing my, my tourism endgame. That's the only tourism policy. Oh, here we go. World's Fair. Good. I could also do public festivals in a pinch, but I don't need to necessarily. Their finest hour. No, it's okay. Our money's okay. Well, I mean, it will be okay. It's not okay right now, but it will be. Uh, economic Union. I don't need the New Deal. We'll be fine. Yeah, I suppose. Then I'll just put the two tourism policies in place for now. And then, with the understanding that my amenity situation will 
even itself out. There's unrest in St. Petersburg, but that'll fix itself out. Yeah, once these go away, and they will go away soon, it'll be fine. I could go salons as well, but my culture is so high that I don't need it. I really don't need it. I'll be right there. It's fine. All right. Get some more tourism out of there. See how much we can crank out. Start working that win condition, baby. All right. New civic. I can get communism if I want, because you do have a boost to that. There's any policies in communism that are really good. They're, they've got shifted around a bit, so... Defense of the Motherland, Patriotic War, uh, Martial Law, Lightning Warfare. Mm, yeah, maybe. Third alternative. Uh, this is this is all pretty useful, actually. But let's go up to the good stuff, like this. Globalization. Like, that's money, first of all. E-commerce. And then this is massive. So both of these I want to get as quickly as possible, I think. So with that in mind, let's push out to that. And that would be Cold War requires nuclear fission. Either one I need to just run to, I think. Where's nuclear fission in the grand scheme of things? Nuclear fission is there. So we don't have a boost to it, but we'll be able to get it relatively easily. Uh, I might want to get that damn harbor at some point. That's pretty funny. Mm, that means... That means what? That means I want to probably go to maybe cultural heritage. So I think I'll have... How's that neighborhood coming, actually? Someone's building a neighborhood, aren't they? Someone was building a neighborhood. You were building a neighborhood, but that's going to be a late boost. We don't have any tourism actually from there yet. So let's just push the Cold War. Fuck it. Push the Cold War. Social media. I'm going to need professional sports regardless anyway. And what does this give me? Uh, amenities. Nah. Is it atheism? Give me additional spy. All right. Well, I think we'll just go with that for now. And we'll see what else we can do. Because right now it's not like we're lacking relics or lacking room for them anyway. So I don't need to push that out yet. Looks good. You're tied, right? So you just go to sleep. Yeah, we'll keep moving this up. You, keep rebasing now. Rebase to... Can't rebase to Smolensk. Oh, you can rebase to Smolensk. You lie. You lie like bitch. Alright, go. Uh, rebase to... Yeah, see, it tells me that I can do that, but not there. Even though you can. So we have one guy there, one guy there. Perfect. Artillery army's gonna move up, but you're gonna shift up here. Those Cossacks. Yeah, his, his military is non-existent at this point, so dealing with the rest of him is going to be relatively simple. Uh, let's see. Yeah, military no, strength 55. That's like a Cossack. Well, sorry, dude, but I don't take prisoners, as you can tell. I don't really mess around when I'm in the mood for murdering something. Because you're being a dick all game, and now, thus are the wages of sin. All right, go here. <laughs> Against my people go here. I don't think Spain is going to threaten us at all, because we're kind of bros right now, so that's yeah, fine. You keep moving up. You keep moving east. You just stay right there. I'm not going to join an army pop, says the weasel. We can go here and pillage some stuff. I guess that's cool. In case anything tries to move on this position, I'll be ready for it. Uh, you are gonna stand offshore, as battleships are wont to do, and blow the hell out of Yaroslav when we're ready for it. Lock on. Uh, go there, and you will be upgraded eventually. I need to get some defenses up there as well, but that's gonna be mostly artillery, and everything else is coming down the pipe. So this, these cities are be relatively simple to take, honestly, I think. One, two, three, four. I mean, not quite four ranged artillery, but soon. What is this? We've got new envoys, which is nice. Train a machine gun. I can do that, can I not? And I just removed personal army, did I not? I did! Oh, that was brilliant of me. Ah. Uh, did we not train machine guns at all? I'm pretty sure I did, though. Yeah. How did I not complete that quest? I guess I'm lucky I forgot to do one of those guys. What is train a machine gun? Yeah, Hong Kong. Send a trader out. Don't care about this one so much. This was fine. Train a sword. That'll do. Cold War, probably not going to happen. Wow, okay. Both of them want me to trigger an inspiration for Cold War. I wouldn't mind extra of those. That's free money, basically. So I'm going to just upgrade this one. Fuck the policy. We have enough cash right now. There you go. Free Envoy. So how do I trigger this? I need nuclear fission, then. There's a beeline nuclear fission after this. Uh, I do want to know where my aluminum is for advanced flight. That would be great. A lot of things I need, actually. But let's, let's push this after. There'll be 12 turns. No. Chemistry. You, what, you can't shift Q anymore? There we go. About 12 turns to go on that. Oh, which means that we don't want to necessarily go all the way on this. We'll start working on maybe capitalism or do class struggle just to bide some time. That's fine. All right, next. 
Gotta remember not to go all the way in Cold War. Then we can get the actual boost to the envoys. I like envoy boosts. It's like free stuff. I like free stuff. Free stuff's good, man. One, two, three. Yeah. Right, he's gonna rebuild his military, and we have 15 turns of peace, I think, with him. More or less agreements. Uh, no, no, no. I want to know the peace deal. Oh, whatever. Arabia seeking a science victory. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. You're going to be way the hell behind Rome on that one. Good luck on that. Well, you do have aircraft soon, so you might be able to hold this off, actually. Maybe you should upgrade those mom looks, though. How bad is your military compared to Rome's? That's the other good question. How bad is that situation right now? Uh... Well, you're ahead of Rome's military. Okay, oddly Tennis enough. Do not usually stutter. Yeah, right. It would be very awkward if they did. Yes, very, very awkward if they did. Ha ha ha, chemistry joke. Chemistry words are hard, I know. I myself was a large pronouncer of those. Pronouncer? Research lab, do it. Okay. Where do we go? We can go to Canberra. Do we have someone in Canberra already? We do not. That's fine. Recruit partisans. Oh, you need a neighborhood to recruit partisans. Interesting. I thought always that was an encampment that you needed to recruit partisans from. That makes sense. You're a new guy, Shimon. Uh, we can send you to Paris and see if we can steal some stuff in Rennes. Amboise. There's nothing in Amboise. Go to Rennes. Steal sense and sensibility. Yeah, let's let's go to Rennes and see what's going on. Paris would be nice to see too. But there's a high probability she's defending Paris and she's defending Rennes. Uh, everything's really bunched up, so... Alright, fuck it. Let's go to Ren. We'll do money first, and we'll try to get the, the work or something. I don't know. It'll be a tough call. Research lab in Portsk? Yep. You guessed it. What is uh, what does my Calvinist religion give me, anyway? I'm, like, all over on the religious pile here. Uh, where is the religion booster? There we go. It's Calvinism. Do we have, like, just education here? No. Do we have just education here? Mm, no. Yeah, we do have digital education here. Holy crap. Okay. Uh... Can we buy... I already maxed out on campus. Okay, well. It's my, one of my few cities that is like that. Oh, we can buy it here for faith. How much faith is that going to cost me, actually? That's a good question. Fuck yeah. Radom just got itself one of those. I'm glad I checked. I am glad I checked. Good job, Radom. Saved me a lot of production time there, actually. All right, St. Petersburg. I mean, this is, they're obviously under serious, serious war weariness right now. Uh, now that I did the entertainment, let's... Mm, should I do this or should I do the culture? The easy ones. Let's do some of the easy ones here. Let's do the water mill first for production. We'll do the rest. Wonder, obviously, housing stress. Come here and heal up, because that's not going to last very long. But let them depredate the Roman... I mean, the <laughs> Roman... Russian lands. God. Rome is like, you're using a lot of rhetoric against me lately. Are you sure we're still friends? Totally, bro. Gave you that idea. Who's been talking crazy? Oh, son of a bitch. He's here. What? Oh, you dick. How did you... <sighs> Alright. Deal with this, please. I'm gonna pillage something of mine, too. I'm gonna be very, very cross about it. Can you rebase here? Oh, you can. Good. You can fly over. Excellent. Then my capital's gonna keep cranking out aircraft. Because I don't think I have much else beyond these two biplanes. Let's see. Is that all I have? I really need to get Yaroslav under my domain, because otherwise I'm gonna keep seeing that crap. I don't trust the Russians to fix the amenity problem for very long. Do that. Attack Yaroslav, damn it. Get away the hell away from my stuff. Can we go ahead? Ooh, I can maybe get a battleship to do this for me. Yes, I can. Swap that out. Swap out. Okay. Less stupidly, please. Die. There we go. Good job. Good job. Um, let's get you... I mean, this would make Yaroslav a little faster. Let's leave one artillery piece here. That's not at all where I wanted you to move. Like, at all. Okay, weird. Get in the water, we'll follow you there. Uh, I don't want to get shot at by this encampment, so that's another consideration. Let me just roll down this way to Smolensk and go south. Yeah, maybe you should just go south while we still have the opportunity before we're at war. Keep going east. My sniper. Ah, my sniper. Right, I can set up on a hill and start sniping things. What is your range then? Your range is... Two... I remember the sniper does gets plus one range on a hill, I think. Gets plus one range when on a hill. Yeah, so we can go three range. We can sit offshore to the encampment and just plug him away. So right there is where I need you to be. So can you get to this? There we go. Perfect. All right. New tank. Yay. I think it honestly be faster. Nah, it won't be faster. Get him on the land. Whee. I may need to quickly buy an infantry division out here. Uh, let's see. 
That would be expensive, though. Buying an entire infantry division. Shit. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I can put a sniper on here and get him on a hill and just kind of go to town with Asakan, but that kind of defeats the purpose. I need something just to be meat effectively. I mean, infantry, 1720. I could buy one in all honesty, but I'm not gonna. It seems expensive. But they didn't get to Smolensk, and that was the idea there. I'm a little worried about the tank destroyers basically going to my tanks, but that's fine. Minor details, but Yaroslav will be mine. Tulo will be mine. I mean, I don't necessarily need Astrakhan. I can just leave him alone. I just feel like it would be nice to have Astrakhan. But if it's not giving me any luxes. Whose city owns this anyway? I guess we'll see if Tula owns this. Can, can Astrakhan own this? Uh, I mean, it's more likely that Tula does because within three, what happened? Enemy spy killed. Oh, you bitch. That's what I thought. Enemy spy captured. Wow, dude. People are trying to sabotage me like crazy. I need to defend this more. I got very lucky, actually. Uh, Cause I'm not defending that one technically. That one's isolated from the rest of my districts. Wow. Okay. I know it needs more amenities. Everything needs more amenities these days. Can you stop unresting so hard? Come on. The war has been over for a while. Can we air attack anything here? No, we can't air attack. We can't air attack that. Really? Seems odd. Well, all right. Why don't you go rampage against the Russians a bit? Now you get to Moscow, please. Uh, rebase there. You rebase here. Kazan, and then we'll just deploy you cleverly at some point. In a moment of spontaneity that you will be unable to detect. You go up here and heal up. You go south, like I said. You need to get a road done out there. I mean, we can always just ship it across, but, you know, reasons. Let's keep an eye here in case there's any ships coming, but it's unlikely. Float out there. Do the same thing. God, we got movement in spades on the sea, which is nice. Lock that in. Lock that in here. We got a captured Greek spy. We're gonna hang on to that one. Who declared war on Sultan Saladin? Someone did. You know, war with. Ah, the Australians. Okay, so they're basically dogpiling right now, I think. Yeah, I think they're dogpiling. Interesting. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Uh, you need to go up and fix a lot of this stuff. Not the districts, this stuff. So why don't I just actually direct you like that? I was just afraid he was gonna get all screwy in the head. Go! You're fine. Next turn. We'll keep checking when we can dial the Russians. I think it's about 10 to 15 turns uh, from when we actually made peace. But once we have that done, we'll take Yaroslav, we'll take Tula, and we'll probably get the silver in that case, at which point we'll go ahead and just peace out and go after the French. Then he can just, you know. But this does give me a national park, which does provide tourism. National parks do provide tourism. How much tourism? Let's see. National parks. Yes. Perfect. Greatly enhanced tourism and amenities. Ah, beautiful. Gives me equal total appeal. And city owns park receives two amenities. And four closest cities receive one amenity. All right, maybe I should take uh, this city. Okay, no problem. Why did I just do a really bad Slavic accent? No one knows. No one knows. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of production that helps get that monument up. A little more culture. Not like I really need more culture at this point, but hey. Details, friend. Details. Go here. I'm just watching your ATQ rampage here, Russia. Don't mind me. I'm not trying to dow you yet. What can I buy with this? I can buy a missionary. Don't care, actually, oddly enough. Uh, Astrakhan. What? Wait, is Hong Kong one of your suzerains just to be safe? No, it's Pericles. Pericles. Basilius, in fact. Yeah. And the French do not have any... Oh, that's why he's got all that culture. It's got a 5% bonus from suzerainty. Mm. It's good soup, friends. It's good soup. Uh, let's get you right there. At some point. Let me get you deployed here. Uh, I want to get you deployed out of shooting range of the city. Because that might actually be an effect we need to worry about. We'll get you... Play out there and deploy you forward a bit. Once we have that aerodrome, this will be a lot easier. Where's the capital building again? Ah, yeah, the, the science building. Good. Let's keep doing that. And take advantage of everything we can. We have four more trade routes which we can definitely get money off of. But this is all details at this point. This one I'm going to keep here, I said, right? Did I say that? I did say that. One, two, three. One, two, three. It'll be a little dangerous with the Cossacks running up on me. I could go here, I suppose, and make the Cossacks not run up on me, and then have one, two, three to the city. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go... We don't have professional crew, or expert crew. Professional crew. <laughs> we're a professional artillery crew. I guess they are professional artillery crews, obviously, in the military, but that's not the point I was trying to make with that statement, so go. 
All right, we'll keep checking, but I don't think we can dow yet. Nope. Not declare friendship, though. He seems relatively neutral to me after I kicked his ass. I think it's because he thought he was better than me. He thought he can. Hey, that's a research agreement with whom that came up. I think maybe you. Yes, with you. Roma. Again, I probably don't want to make research agreements with Rome anymore. Uh, just don't push them forward any any further than I already have. And the game is hanging. There we go. Yeah. When I do things in between turns, it tends to do things badly. That's done. And I don't have any more friends to research with. That's okay. I got some good good value on my research agreements this game, which I'm pretty happy about, actually. It's not too bad. Very happy. Hello, friend. Oh, dear. I'm going to lag this out completely. There we go. We're fine. Totalitarianism. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have boosted every single government. Haha, <laughs> sick. Russia does jousting tournaments and military guardianship. Well, that's not going to last very long. I mean, you can guard yourself all you want, but I'm going to take Astrakhan and Tula and Yaroslav. That's his plan. This guy actually might keep this in, at bay for me for a while, which is great. At Tukhai Bay. Uh, what else is coming up here? What, you don't like a Mongol Turkic horde joke? No one? No one? Okay. Research lab. Yes, that first. Give me other things to do, please. Okay, we'll know if we have uh, uranium as well. <laughs> it sounds like urine. I'm juvenile. I have to repair this for 19 turns. Can I? Apparently, I can't repair that for 19 turns. Why can't I repair this for 19 turns? Apparently, not allowed. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. How's that locked in? I have no idea. Anyway, do the granary. Improve your housing a bit. I'm not gonna do the sewer currently. This will stay where it is. Yep. You're gonna lock in. You're gonna lock in there because you have dumb movement to compete. You're gonna lock in, well, more or less there, I think, because that's where I need you to be. You can lock in there. You are fine exactly where you are. You're all kinds of fine, ain't you? And then you're gonna line up right there and do the same. Oh no, you need to be there, whoops. Minor details. All right, cool. And we'll call it there for now as we start our prelude to the next war, uh, which will be soon. Like I said, taking two, three cities off of Russia and then uh, making a beeline for France is going to be our plan. Yep. And then we'll go take probably what's on the hit list, basically. Hit list is Lyon, I do believe, because they do have a... No. Actually, the spies would have told me exactly where I need to go. Uh, but it's anywhere with an entertainment district. Definitely Paris. I mean, Theater Square, rather. Uh, Rennes. And Amboise. Yeah, I think those are the three. Paris, Rennes, and Amboise. The rest are of no moment. And then, obviously, enough. But that's perfect, because we just go through, I suppose, Lyon, Avignon. Hit these three, and then we're on a route to conquer the Greeks. So, man, it's going to be fun. All right. Aboners, till next time. Till then.